Hello and welcome to Channel UTM. This is a tutorial based um, research channel um, showing you how uh, you can um, start this research yourself and uh, get some amazing results um, that will completely freak you out basically. Um, okay, right. I'm a bit rusty and uh, Apologies for the uh, delay in getting another vid out. Okay, right, so I'll try and get through this as quick as I can. We are looking at Saturn, and uh, basically it's this image um, by uh, the cassini Hugens uh, mission. <clears throat> so I have a read of this. Um, we've got the pixel um, size here, and... Uh, it says that it's one mile per pixel. So I'll show you the image that you will download. And using the tool that I'm using, let's see if I pull it right the way up. Let's see, that's one, one, nine, two. Let's go to. 1400 so you can see that area in there is 1400 miles okay just going to blow that up a bit this area here and this is the area that first caught my eye as well um, and you can see that circle we're at 58 pixels so it's about 60 70 miles across okay do bear with me and um, this line as well i'll show you this this line um very interesting so just back to here have a quick read um, and uh, yeah where's where's the other bit um, okay right because it's the the narrow angle camera I was just a little bit interested to see what it was I'm sure we've looked at it um, before with all the other um, moons of Saturn that we've looked at um, if you haven't seen it go and see it it's uh, incredible stuff so there's just one little bit down here oh, if i do this then you could have a little read so it says here by taking lots of pictures the cameras created maps of the moons surfaces saturn's rings and the planets itself researchers always use the image to understand the moon's typography the heights and shapes of features on the surface composition what those features are made of and to measure the orbit shapes and size of saturn moons with exquisite precision so as we've um, looked at before uh you know these cameras are hot shall we say it's hot yes so um they know this stuff so okay let's go back to um the main image just so you can get an idea of what we are looking at um yeah saturn's massive i think it's nine times bigger than earth um very impressive um, planet, especially with the rings. I mean, it looks so cool. Here we go. Massive. And we are looking at the southern vortex. Okay. It's quite, it's quite interesting how they word this as well. Um, that they... Uh, they call these um, swirling hurricanes or whatever um, structures, uh, which is quite, 
is quite funny anyway right okay if you're not familiar with my work then um hold on I don't know what I'm doing here right okay let's just get into it so this is uh, my enhanced version of that image um, it's been hugely um, enlarged and all the mottled areas are the areas that I've worked on so far. So you can start seeing that there is some uh, bits and bobs going on. But anyway, let's start where we normally start. And we'll move around the image. I'll do some, um, I'll do a little bit of in, in uh, work on it. Um, that helps you understand what I'm looking at and... Um, gives you something to focus on uh, if you look at the earlier videos um, I do a lot of that and um, it will make uh, sense to you now the areas of this image which are uh, a poorer quality to other areas which seems to be the case in a lot of things we look at um, so I'm going to be zooming in and out um, much more than usual hopefully uh, so people can see it on phones and I'm, I'm going to have to check it as well sort of thing and, and this is the second time I've done this as well because um, I didn't plug my mic in last time and it was a uh, it was an hour long as well so I just thought I'd do it again okay So just to point out um, that uh, this isn't one great big pixel anomaly um, because they wouldn't put out images that are one big anomaly. So I'll show you where you can just about start seeing the, the pixels here in so you can see all the other information is the information from the original photograph <clears throat> what they've done here is well what can I say I'll try and I'll show you the same areas you can see the in there <clears throat> okay right so you have to remember that this is supposed to be a big swirling cloud gas type sort of thing going on um, but this is just full of the familiar stuff which we um, have been finding on all the other moons and planets asteroids um, very similar in design um, but humongous I mean this is beyond um, science fiction uh, these structures are you know miles and miles and miles long and high I would presume as well so um, there is some perspective in this, so you'll see the tops, the fronts, um, sides, shadows, um, geometric circles, diamonds, uh, triangles, uh, pipes, elevated areas. Um, it's, well, the most bizarre cloud formations you would ever have seen if they are cloud formations which they're not so I'm just going to move through and uh, as always uh, pause and just take the image in so I'm pointing out some stuff So 
So here, for example, if you can see my comments, to get a different coloured cursor thing, if I can do that. Um, there's an area here, and you can see the shadow underneath. Uh, there's another area here, which looks like there's something sticking out of it. I um, hope that gives you an idea of what's going on. <laughs> or maybe not. Um, okay. Also, take note of the, the white areas which we see in the original photograph. It's supposed to be, it's described as swirling the clouds. These are hurricanes, and there's one that doesn't actually even move. Um, yeah. So. So this would be a swirling cloudy type sort of bit and I, the more I looked at this and the more enhancing I did on it um, there are structures on the top of these things they've been heavily bleached out um, uh, but they look raised you can see things attached to them and uh, yeah so uh, bear that in mind Don't worry, it does get better. So you can see how these, I mean, I, I don't know I, if, you're, if you're familiar with, you know, what I say and what I do. I don't um, like specifically labeling things, um, but it's got to the point now where um, this stuff um, it's structural it's built it's geometric it has purpose there's layout um, you can see how this is stacked up see the shadows you see where it gets to a higher point but we have to also bear in mind that this is going back, so we're, we're getting um, a more layered view. We're not totally bird's eye on this, we're sort of slightly in front of it. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, um, there's some brilliant um, enhancements coming out, um, proof of stuff um, just lately I've been seeing um, undeniable proof basically and uh, yeah um, something I'll be having a look at as well in in conjunction with uh, something I've just I've just done from some live footage is um, you know, people have their favourite channels, this, that and the other. Um, I watch the channels just to see, you know, see what they're doing, basically. And there was a very interesting one done by Mars Anomalies on the uh, recent, or well, recent, I don't know when it was, actually. But I'm presuming it's recent, uh, the Japanese probe that went to the moon. And the images they have released. And bear in mind that you know, Japan is uh, probably the world leader in optics, shall we say, um, or one of. Um, and the state of the image is just unbelievable. Le crap. Um, I don't know how they even think anyone would take an image like that seriously. Especially the scientific community. I mean, what do they think? And the people who who were uh, part of that mission, um, what what are they thinking? What I mean, uh, it, it's it's beyond belief. Um, and my my the whole motivation behind me doing this sort of stuff is the fact that we're being lied to. Um, 
whatever the reasons are if if they're protecting us or god knows what it is um for a country like japan to put something out like out like that considering um had a interesting story uh, it's not well it's, it's, it's true that um there was a a nationwide apology by a train company that um because one of their trains um, left 25 seconds earlier. Um, so how could you? How could? How? I don't understand. Go and go and have a look at that. Um, I will be showing it, but it's more to do with the um, the structures that are hidden in the in the image. Um, um, but go and check out Mars Anomalies and he'll show you the state of the uh, the pre-editing that's been done on that image. It's just mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. There you go, I've drunk too much coffee again. But right, okay, let's get on with it. It's actually quite poor quality here, you can see. Okay. Now as we go down this image, you'll start seeing more and more um, structural features. Um, the whole thing is basically structures. I, I know it's difficult to grasp, but um, this is the information the image has given me. Look at this across here. See the huge, great big tower on a platform, a raised platform area. You can see where this stuff has the, you know, the depth of it. So you can see with these, these white areas, you know, the, uh, the wispy cloud, so-called wispy cloudy areas, have, um, and they're covered in what I can only describe as structural features. If you're new to this, might do, this might take you a while um, to get your head around, um, but it's something which uh, comes with practice. Oh yeah, the um, the program I'm using is uh, GIMP, GNU Image Manipulation Program. Uh, this is the interface. It's free. It's open source. So. Um, basically you download it for free um, follow the instru instructions on the uh, channel there's some tutorials um, and give it a go yourself it's the only way it will change your life though okay so this is that line I was talking about um, and the only similar thing I found like that uh, is in one of the moon videos I did. So we will have it. I'm just going to go back to that, but I want to show you where it 
comes through. Now you can see towers and stuff along this straight line. We'll have a closer look in a minute. And you can see where there's a junction. Another line comes off. There's something going on here and carries on around there. So, please tell me what this is. Gigantic structures. You can see the three dimensions. I mean, th th this blew me away. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. There's, um, I'll probably do an update on this image as well because there is so much uh, more to discover in here. And the whole thing that I talk about, about um, you have to um, put your uh, mind in a, in, a, in a frame of mind where you basically don't listen to it. Um, it's an ongoing thing. You're constantly battling with what your brain tells you. Um, and it was, it was exactly the same with this. I mean, I, I was like, and I'm looking at Saturn. And it's so blatant. And it didn't actually take too long to get the image to a stage where I could start seeing stuff. I mean, this stuff is so massive that um, your brain, again, can't um, scale it. 
because uh, it's it, it's so massive. I mean, we can see like the the, the shapes and the forms, um, and the direction and the movement of the uh, the constructions. But I wonder how uh, detailed. How, you know, it's like um, how much detail we're actually missing. Try and find some areas because the closer in I was getting on working with a very small tool, um, there was some surprising details coming out, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them or not. Now, here's one of our classic diamond bits. Tower on top, it's a shadow. So, in considering that um, this was taken like you know, two hundred thousand kilometers away or something um, then uh, you can understand the quality of the uh, the cameras or the capability of the cameras in question cross here look see this bit here One. I don't know. Looks like to be some structures here. You can see the tops. Right. So if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I'm not. Uh, this isn't a, a pen or an airbrush tool or anything like that. It's simply a tool which um, brightens or darkens uh, shadows, midtones, and highlights. So you can push and pull this stuff, um, and you can pinpoint areas as well, which is why this takes so long. It's so dense, it's so um, manufactured. It can be very confusing looking at such a, a densely I used to say it's just like one big anomaly.
Okay, this is quite a good example of the, of the wispy clouds. You can see how it's built up and does attach to the top part, the bleached out part. That looks like a um, like a large platformed area. You can see the shadows and the stuff underneath. See how much there is to do. I'm sure this is all very difficult to make out for you. So I'm going to do a bit of zooming in and zooming out. Um, it's easier for me to pinpoint places at a certain <coughs> zoom level for me. But you must let me know if um, you can... Um, see this stuff out there like a massive great big tower sticking up <clears throat> I 
I'm going to check and see if there's any um, animations of this southern vortex with it moving. I think there is, but it's very, very short. And um, in regards to it moving, maybe those animations are incorrect. I mean, if this stuff was moving, Is it them making a fake animation? Is it whoever is on this planet creating this stuff to make it look like it's moving? Because if there's structures and stuff all over this so-called hurricanes and uh, wispy wind things, um, then I can't imagine it being moving. It's simple. If there's stuff on it, how? Why, why is it moving around, swirling around? I mean, I, it, that doesn't make any sense to me. This is what initially what I first saw. You remember the size of that? I was about 60 miles across here. So. Yeah. And I mentioned earlier, like it's beyond science fiction. The only thing I can think of that you could relate to is one of the Star Wars movies, and they go to a planet and it's one great big city. And it has those humongously high buildings and stuff like that. Um, well, this is beyond, beyond that. Where is that? Don't know. It's not something sticking up. Yeah, like I was saying, you can see coming from those white areas. You can see it carries on to uh, what looks like a lower, a lower area. Look at this stuff. This area and this area.
So you can see where this goes under this section here. See it? <clears throat> There's so much in this image. Um, it's boggling. Okay. I don't know what this is. No. Okay. Okay, I just need to see where we're at. area I think we just did look at that see a little structure on top And this is weird as well. That wasn't there in the original image. Let's just have a quick, quick look. It's here. See? And it looks like there's an area coming out of a, a hollow area or another level. I think this is uh, one of the hurricane things they uh, talk about in the in the description, which is static. It doesn't move. Well, apparently, it moves, but it doesn't move around the surface. 
Um, but this just looks like it's part of everything else around it. You can see these areas coming off. There's probably so much that I've missed. There's so much to do. I'll probably do a follow-up on this. Um, but this, this area here. Just look at it. completely constructed and this is Saturn all right <clears throat> I told you it's crazy okay guys um, hope it didn't freak you out too much um, what can I say? Um, it gets crazier and crazier. Um, and with the other stuff that's coming out on the other channels at the moment, um, wow. Um, I don't know. But I will see you on the next uh, vid. Be a quick moon one. Um, blatantly obvious stuff. Um, I'll try and do that today, actually. And as always, thanks for your time. And uh, I'll see you soon.